Hello and welcome to bar. Uh, you're going to need some weights, uh, something to hold on to like a chair, a couch, uh, something to counterbalance against. It is standing parallel seat work today, so that's always fun. Meg is here, the hostess with the mostest. So if you need anything, you can chat her up, chat me up, and we will get started. Um, as always with any of our classes at Full Circle, what, whatever you do, Whatever variation you want to do is the right variation for you. There are no rules. Whatever you feel is right is right. So let's kind of get motoring. Let's get going. Hi, Kara. All right, you're in a parallel alignment, a parallel stamp. Your feet are right underneath you. Let's step into your space by taking a couple of deep breaths in. Exhale out. Do that again. Take a bend and release through your side. One more time, leave your arms up top. Drag your shoulders away from your ears. Left week, left and right. It's left thigh and right thigh. March it. You're marching into class, marching into your body, marching into your space. Start to breathe a little bit deeper here and exaggerate your push and pull out of the floor. You've got eight, seven. Beautiful, Christine. Chin up, chest up, six. Nice, Mag. Five. Gorgeous, Terry. You got four. Janet, soft shrug of your shoulders. Beautiful, Nance. Last two. All right, keep your march going. Pull your arms down, down. It's tight. Ha. Rest in, breath out. Can you get a little taller? Stretch your weight, even here while you're moving. Thigh bone. Thigh bone. Ha. Ha. Ooh. Eight more. Start to take some of the bend out of your knee. Eight. Seven. Pick out your weekend. Six. You're going to have some barbecue today. Five. Yes, you got four. Beautiful, Meg. Three. That's it, Kara. Two. Foundation down through your feet. Take a big breath in. Audible exhale. Meg down. Shift your weight forward into your toes. Let your upper girdle hang. Start to bend and reach. You soften and lengthen. Shift some of the weight into your toes. So really try to stretch up through your sacral base. You've got eight, seven. Supple bottoms of your feet, neck is loose, shoulders are loose. Five, you got four. High plank coming in three, two. Crawl your hands out, crawl your feet back. Your knees are always there should you need them. Soften through your elbows. Integrate your shoulders and your wrists into alignment. Play with your biceps and your triceps, wrapping around your elbow joint and bend and reach both knees. Should you be on your knees, your heels are hugging in. In. Integrate. Elbow joint, bicep, tricep. Push into your surface. Four more. Bend and reach. Four. Wow. Three. Beautiful alignment here. Gorgeous. Hang out and hold. Breath in, breath out. Eight. Seven. Six. Breathe in, breathe out. Empty your breath, pike your hips up. Find your down dog. Wrap your elbows even more underneath you. And start to walk your dog out, taking your left heel down. Up and over, right heel. A great reset. Down dog. A nice cleansing, lengthening of your lower back. And on your next breath, shift your weight forward. Bend through your left elbow, low forearm plank. Bend through your right elbow, low forearm plank. Again, your knees are always there should you need them. Traction your mat back towards you. Jazz your finger pads into your mat. And try to press from your wrist to your elbow joint. Can you expose, open your chest, your heart just a little bit more? It's okay. It's a safe place. You're in your body. You're breathing. It's safe. It's aligned, it's safe, gorgeous. We're gonna add some movement here. Left hip, dip, right hip, dip. It's left hip, right hip, left hip, right hip, dip, dip. Side and side. Opportunity to keep your shoulders square and little tiny dip, little tiny dip. Gorgeous, snap. Shoulders look so super integrated. Eight, seven, dip and dip, six. Shoulders square, breath in, breath out. You got four. Oh my goodness, Tara. So strong. Neck looks amazing. Hang out here and hold. Stick the landing. Breathe. Eight. Six. You got four. Three. 
to tap your knees down, find your spinal extension. Keep your hips over your knees, knees under your hips. Crawl your hands out, exaggerate your movement. Take a big breath in, press through your shins, exaggerate the curve of your optimal spine, your best spine. On your next breath, slowly stack. We're gonna go into our neutral spine exercise right here, which is tabletop plank. The heels of your hands are integrated right underneath your shoulders. Tuck your left toe under, your right toe under. Soften through your elbows, push your surface away, levitate your thighs and lower them down an inch, up an inch. We've got three planks to start. Think about stretching from the crown of your head to your tail, you're stretching as you're moving down an inch, up an inch, down stop, up stop. Eight more, eight. And think about the space that you were just in and your spinal extension. Hold. Soften your elbows. Integrate bicep, triceps around your elbow. Four, three, two. Tap your knees down. Big toes together. Child's pose to alleviate some of your energy into your wrist. Maybe you take your palms up. You can circle your thumb. Jazz your fingers, spirit fingers. Let your shoulders fall away from the bone. Heavy your tail round through your spine. We're gonna come up again. This time we're gonna take some cat cows and kind of loosen up a little bit more. Heels of your hands underneath your shoulders. Press through your shins. Open up. Belly button heavy. Tail light. Press through your shins. Chin into chest round. Let your shoulder blades separate. Play with maybe some shift forward, back and some shifts side to side. Whatever movement you might need to kind of rinse out, here's your opportunity. You've got the time to do it. Close your eyes, get the sensation in your body of what you need to let go of to make more space for your control. Find your neutral, tuck your left toe under, your right toe under, soften through your elbows, push your surface away, and this time it's your inner thighs in, in. In, in. I almost feel like I'm doing the mashed potato, the tootsie roll. It's in, in, in. That's it, Nancy. You've got eight more. Grow your waist. Beautiful integration of bicep, tricep, Meg. Thank you for putting the camera there. Back looks great. You got four. Kara, soften your elbows just a little bit. Think biceps wrapping around the front, triceps wrapping around the back. Hang out. Oh. Eight, seven, six. Oof. Four. Three, tap your knees down, cross at your ankles, or find your favorite hip. Sweep your feet forward. Grab one weight, one weight, one weight only, and put it to your left side, left side. We're gonna use it in a half second. I'm gonna lift and separate, left ischial tuberosity, right ischial tuberosity, so I'm right up on top. Again, my weight's accessible on my left side, because we'll grab it here in a second. Draw your shoulders up, back in and down. Lengthen your arms and lean back. Slither your hands down your thighs. Feel your flesh, pop your elbows up. Reach back and then curl forward. I feel like I'm kind of rolling back on my sacral base. Lean and curl. No, I'm not gonna stop. Yes, I'm gonna keep going. You've got eight more. Eight. This first variation is about you finding the sensation in your body this morning. You're breathing deeply, rounding through your spine, lumbar, curving, four. Notice where you're feeling it, close your eyes. Sensations of your body, kinesthetic awareness. Hang out on the back, reset through your shoulders, little tiny curls, forward is curl, gorgeous Christine curl. My tendency is to lead with my chin. I bought some honey crisp apples at the farmer's market on Saturday. They were like a dollar a piece. I'm not gonna waste those. You aren't gonna either. I'm gonna give you a honey crisp apple right in between. I can't believe they're ready already. Little tiny curls. Narrow, front body, wide and back. You've got four. All right, are we ready? Three, two. Find your weight in your left hand. You're gonna bring it up. Grab it with your right before we lean it with your left. And then slice it down. Grab it, slice it. Grab it, slice it. So 
Layer one, kind of holding stillness in my torso. Layer two, gather it up, slice it back. Gather it up, slice it back. Christina Gorga. Layer three, magnetize your inner thighs together. Scoop out. You're going for a range here. Scoop out. On the opposing reach, even if you don't have a weight, you're reaching your arm, grab and reach. Let's see it. Hair beautiful. Magnetize your inner thighs together. KK, I love it. Really great fine motor skills too. It's a great challenge for your brain. The map, Marianne, beautiful. Hey Margaret, breath in, breath out. Slice down. Gather up, slice down, gather up. Last one left, last one right. Grab a hold of your weight to the head. Now I have uh, squares, you might have a hex head where you set through your shoulders. Flex through your heels, lean back just a little bit more. Empty your breath. Left elbow, right elbow. Left elbow, center, right elbow, center. Left elbow, center. Now my hip flexors are dialed in. So I'm going to separate my feet a little bit. Nice true spiral. Okay, here's what my body wants to do. I wanted to take my weight. I wanted to take my weight. But in order to get to my obliques, I've got to turn my entire torso. That's it. Turn your entire torso. Eight. Even more shoulder now. Keep your weight at your heart center. Turn your entire torso. Yes, girl. That's it. KK, I love it. Ah. Can you get longer here? Take out the center, let's finish strong. You got eight, seven, Oof. six, too fast, you do you, five. There are no wrong variations here, four. Oh my goodness, three, hey, 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 two. Extend your weight, little tiny reaches. Big reach, breath in, big reach. Shoulders wide. Big reach, big reach. Last two. <sighs> Static hold, close your eyes. Wrap your muscles around your torso. Eight, seven, six, five. Can you lean back a little bit more? Traction narrow, four, three, two, and one. Move your weight over to the side. Cross at your ankles. Find your favorite hip you can dive through. Oof. Tuck your toes under, pike your hips up. Find your down dog. Feel the transition from seated to standing and exaggerate the moments in between. Bend through your elbows, bend through your knees. Walk your feet and your hands together. I'm gonna to grab my weight with my left hand. Find my weight for my right. How you feeling? And I feel so great. I'm gonna find an Iron Man pose with my weights in front of my heart center. Separate your left foot. Separate your right foot. We're gonna go over lateral, shift to your left. Lateral lunge to your left. Come on up. Left. Lateral lunge to your left. Come on up. Now I'm gonna give you a little profile. I'm gonna lean back and flatten my spine. Feel the crease in your hip. Lateral lunge. Feel the stretch of the inner arch of your right foot. Lateral lunge. I almost feel like I'm kind of bowing and hip hinging forward. Last one, that tempo. Let's go a little quicker. It's a lunge, ha, lunge. Easy of where you need your knee to go over your toe. So I'm seeing a little of this. Crease in your hip, look at my hips. I love thinking about, you know me, I've got props here. If I had a tray on my back, my tray wouldn't move. So as I lunge, I keep my tray there, lunge. Lunch. Yes. Gorgeous. Ha. Let's do 800 more. Keep your Iron Man together. Eight. Okay. Seven. Shoulders square. Six. Five. Inner thigh, outer thigh. Ha. Four. We're going to stick the landing in three. Suction cup your right inner arch. Two. Stick the landing. Hold. Extend your arms out. Out. And in. Most of my weight is on my left foot. You got a tray on your back. Four. Elbows high. Kick it out. Drag it in. Two. Hold it on the out. Focus a little bit more elbow joint. Bend and reach. Bicep. 
tricep. Shine your heart a little bit more forward. Go eight. Six. All right, let's burn it out. You ready? Thumbs down, pinkies up, a little bit faster. Go. Bend, reach. Bend, reach. All of your weight, most of your weight is on your left side. Clear your shoulders. Reach, reach. Four, three, two. Stick the landing pole. So you bend your left leg a little bit more. Lift your arms up a little bit higher. Yes, Nancy. Eight, seven, six, five. Gather your weight. Reach up through your shoulders. Maybe you walk your feet wider, you walk your feet more narrow. To your right, please. Right. Come on up. Right. Think about your knee joint as the leader. Is your hip leading and then you fold? Keep your hips square. Yes, that's it, Janet. Let's go faster. Hey. Ha. Huh. And the tray is on your back. Gorgeous, Mag. I love to feel the inner arch of my left adductor of my foot. Hey, keep coming. Down. Ha. Ha. Breath in, breath out. Sit back, gather forward. Down. Yes. Hey. Ha. You should feel like you're a little breathless. This lateral work is so good for your mind. So good to get your heart rate up a little bit. Seven. Gorgeous KK, six. Yes, Christine, five. Four. Really suction cup your left inner arch. Three. Here, I love it. Two. Let's stick the landing. Hang out. Eight. Extend your thumbs out. Gather in and out. Second set of triceps. A little bit more external rotation. Most of your weight is in your right foot. Gather in. Extend out. Shine your heart forward. Breath in, breath out. You've got four. Three. Two. Hold it on the out. Reset through your shoulders. Grow your waist. Bend a little deeper into your right. Little tiny bend and reach. Bicep, tricep. Front of your arm, back of your arm. You know what's magic is this small range of motion. Your wrists and your knuckles are in alignment. I'm seeing a little bit of this. Energize your wrist out and your knuckle out from it. Four, Kara, that was it. Three, KK, beautiful. Two. Let's go a little bit faster, focus on the reach. You reach, 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 then reach, then reach, then reach. Come on, triceps, shine your heart forward. It's like you're flying, six, that's it, Christy. Yes, Janet, three, two, hang out and hold. Can you bend through your right knee? Lift up and fly. Eight, seven, six, five, come on up, bend to your left. It's left, center, right, and center, alternate, left, lateral lunge, right. Is your hip leading? Lean into it, inner arch. Put the tray on your back. Eight, seven, six, five. Get a little breath up here. Four, biceps and wide turn up coming in three. Two, hang out in the center. Externally rotate your toes. Extend your arms proud. Reset through your shoulders. Wide turn out, bicep curl. Take it down for two. Oh yeah, up for two. Great transition, I love the movement in between. Now can you energize your heels a little bit more forward? You know where your lateral edge is. Now you've got this awesome square. Beautiful, Nance. Two more, find the bottom. Yes, let's think about our neutral, our optimal spine. I'm seeing a little of this. Yes, you've got a curve here and a curve here. Hang it out on the bottom. Dial your thumbs up, your pinkies down. Single. Hey, ha. Down, minimal up. Big down, minimal up. Big down, minimal up. Dial your glutes down a little bit. Make this about your thighs. Eight, bicep, yes. Seven. Six. Five. Down and up, down and up. Four, three, two. Find the bottom, hang out there, pulses. Up with the arms, down with the thighs. 
Knuckles in alignment with wrists, wrists in alignment with knuckles. Eight, seven, down an inch, up an inch. Make it smaller, pumping your arms, Janet. Pumping your arms, pump and push. Four, yes, girl. Three, hey, two, hang out and hold. Extend your arms out to the side. Reset through your shoulders, just your arms. Up to your shoulders, step at the half. Your forearms are mimicking the same angle as your thighs. All the way up, step at the half. Did you come up a little bit? I did. I know I can lower my thighs. All the way up, step at the half. Nance, I know you can get lower. Yes, two more. We're separating now, upper and lower girdle. Hold your arms static, lower your thighs. Down two, down two. Oh my goodness, up two. Energize your heels underneath you. Knees, energize out. Oof. Wow. Grip your waist, shine your heart. Hey, ha. Dial your glutes up, four. Kara, yes, look at that energy, three. Gorgeous energy, your knees flying out over your toes. Last two. You know where we're going. Compound, compound your arms and your legs. Single, go. Hey. Oh, man. Use your breath. Hey. Hey, Marianne, yes. Four, three. Hang it out at the half and pulse it. Finish. Up and down, down and up. Minimize the rebound. Maximize the control. Neck is long, spine is long. Eight, six, oh my goodness, four, three, two, hang out, hold. Empty your breath, get a little bit lower, hug your elbows in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release your weight, toe heel in, lug is your weight. Reset through your feet. Dagger your arms. We've got a set of shoulders, we're going old school here. Sorry, now this is gonna be burning here. Staggers, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Take it wide, please, goal post. Eight, seven, six, optimal spine. Your best spine. Four daggers to the front. Four, three, two, wide, four, three. Daggers, dagger, dagger, goal post. Stay here for a little bit, two and two. Dagger, dagger, oh my goodness. Goal post. Okay, dagger, dagger. How are your feet? How are your knees? How is your optimal spine? Two and two. Huh. Dagger, dagger. Are you ready? Singles, let's go. Forward and open. Ride the wave, soften your knees, magnetize your inner thighs together even while you're standing. Yes, Marianne, so strong. Love that you're riding a pair, ride it. Nancy, yes, you can. Give me eight more. Eight. Seven. Wow. Six. Five. Yes, you can, Janet. Four. Hey, three. Oh my gosh, we're gonna finish strong, finish big. Hold. Manipulate your palms toward you. Re-energize your shoulders down the back. Extend your arms out. Ah. Gather in. Bring back your biceps into the equation. Zipper up through your abdominals. Deliver the platter. Singles, go, 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 go. Eight, seven. Here's what my pelvis wants to do. I want to undulate through it. You got four. Manage your alignment. Three, Nancy's so strong. Two, hold your arms out. Little tiny lips right here. Last eight, last seven, last six. Oh my goodness, last five. Neutral spine, optimal spine. Three, two, hang out, hold. Flower your toes. Levitate your heels, bend your knees, trust your balance. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. My goodness. Release your weights down. Here's your opportunity to bring your chair, something in, whatever you're gonna hold on to. We're gonna go into narrow V. Hang on to whatever you're holding on to and narrow your toes. Take a big breath in. Your soft arms distance from whatever you have and elevate your heels, it's called releve in dance terms. Flower your toes, spread your toe mouth wide. Start to bend your knees, but maintain the squeeze of your heels. So what my tail wants to typically do is kind of go heavy. 
my glutes want to take over. Let's find our optimal spine. Your tail's kind of loose. I've got a curve in my cervical spine. I've got a curve in my lower back, and I'm going to magnetize my inner thighs together. So I'm super narrow. Take it down for two and up for two. Yeah. Pair of beautiful. Yeah, loosen your glutes a little bit. The idea of this exercise is a thigh exercise. So let's isolate that muscle. It is mind and body connected. KK beautiful, down two. Squeeze heels up two. Flower toes, down two. This first variation is you finding the sensation. What is the sensation today? Maybe you're feeling a little tight. Take it out of your jaw, take it out of your shoulder. Let it trail down your chain reaction into your thighs. Last two, oh my goodness. Nance, I'm shaking like a leaf right now. Hang out on the bottom, reset through your shoulders and little tiny pulses, ears back. It's down, 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 squeeze, down, squeeze. Maintain the magnet of your inner thighs together. All right, we're gonna go big range, big control. Four counts down. Four, three, two, ah, 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 four, three, two, and one. In dance terms, this would be considered a grand plie. You've got control on all of the counts, all the in between. It's four, three, two, and one. Your shoulders, your rib basket is over your pelvis. Four counts, four. Where do you feel the sensation? It's kinesthetic, your response to the muscle firing. Nance, loosen your tail a little bit. Optimal spine. Yes, magnetize your inner thighs together. Here I love that I said that and you did the same thing. Ha, grand plie. It's big. All right, we're gonna revert back. Two counts down, two counts up. Down, down. Up, up. Now you know your range. I'm gonna hang out in that range, minimize my range of motion, your range of motion. And bar, we try to limit the rebound and hug the muscle, working from the inside out. Hey, we moved big on those lateral lunges. When we're at the bar, we're moving small and controlled. Down. I'm using it to hold on to. It's always been there for me. Maybe it's always been there for you too. So I love this format, I love hanging on. I've always needed somebody or something to hang on to. Use it. Down two. Yes, Miriam, loosen your glutes just a little bit. All right, we're going to go back to kind of where we started and pulse it. Down. Down. Are you right in your work zone? Down. Squeeze. Down. Squeeze. Flower toes. Magnetize inner thighs. Loose glutes. Grab the muscle around your femur bone. You've got eight more. Go, go. It's eight. Seven, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, six, five. We're gonna stick the landing, you've got this. Four, work in your zone. Three, Jen and I love it. Two, hang out and hold. Extend your left arm up, bicep by your ear. Right arm up, bicep by your ear. Take a huge breath in. Unseat, um, can you get a little bit lower? Eight, magnetize your inner thighs together. Squeeze, optimal sign, lower. Three, two, and one. Come on up, oh my gosh. Check it out. Use whatever you have to hang on to. And we're gonna move into, ooh, we're gonna move into, oh yeah, a little bit of stretch. Get your left foot around into your hand, quadriceps released. Heavy your thigh in the socket. Reset through your shoulders, open up towards the sky. We'll take a modified dancer's pose. So I'm going to kind of still keep hanging on to my bar or my table or my chair and kind of kick back a little bit or forward fold. Integrate your left hip forward, foot and a hand, hand and a foot. Release with control. Let's go to the right side. Foundation down. Foot and a hand, hand and a foot. Integrate your right hip forward. Soften through your left knee. If you took it on the other side, hinge slightly forward, take your leg back behind you, soften through, left foot, left knee, hey, use your bar, use your chair to bring yourself down, one knee, other knee, 
hands on your hips. Take a couple of soft shoulder shrugs, one direction, other direction. Float your left ear to your left shoulder. Chin to chest, get out of your neck. Right ear to your shoulder. Chin to chest. Lengthen, step your left foot forward. Drive your right leg back just for a moment here to get some stretch in between, in between. Reintegrate your right knee back down, untuck your toe. Keep charging forward. Keep both of your biceps up by your ears. Please back for two. Down. Down. Up. And up. Hey. Hey. Last one. Hold it on the down. Interlace your hands behind your back. Crack open your chest. Chest expansion. Keep driving forward with your left knee. Fold forward over your thighs. Shift back. Ah. Grow your waist. Integrate your right hip. Hug your left thigh. Half split. And you shrug your shoulders away from your ears. Lengthen your waist. Lengthen your spine. Keep your right hand on the outside. Pinky knife edge. Soften your left knee. Spiral your rib basket. Get into not only your hamstring with the outside edge. Come forward, point through, round through, dome through, tuck your chin into your chest. Softly shrug your shoulders. Empty your breath, look forward, find your flight. Glide, glide, strengthen legs. Roll your hip, tug your thigh. Empty your breath, fold forward. Empty your breath again, gather your left foot in. Weave it around, come onto both knees, clear your back. Step your right foot forward, energize your left leg back for mere moments here. I'm feeling a pull up of my left hip. Deliver your left knee back down with this stretch in between. Press through your shin, both arms up. Slice them down. Hi, hi. Two more. Last one. Sweep your hands behind, interlace, crack open, shine your heart. Maintain the length, fold over your right thigh, shift back, half split. Integrate your left hip forward, tug your right thigh. I'm noticing I'm rounding a little bit. I know I can grow just a little bit more. Tug your toes back towards your face. Soften your knees. Sweep your left hand to the outside. Knife edge. IT release. Spiral. Press through your left shin. Shift even more weight to the edge. I know it's tight. Breathe into it. Come forward. Point through. Round through. Dome through. Heavier spine over your right thigh. Take a big cleansing breath. Look forward. Find your point. Slide into your split. Integrate your left hip. Draw your rib back. Get back. Find stretch here. Find leg. Hey. Come forward. Empty it out. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Gather your leg back in. Sweep it around. Come on to both knees. Clear the back. Lift heels of your hands. We'll take another neck release. Find your favorite hip. Cross your legs in front. Take your hands to your knees. Gather your left ear to your left shoulder. Mindfulness of what's happening with your right. Float your chin into your chest. <sighs> Opposite ear to shoulder. Chin into chest. Right back on top. We're going to do a variation of flat back floor, but we're going to do it here center. Lift and separate your gluteals. Use your finger pads. I'm going to kind of fold forward, but my chest is proud. Walk your finger pads as far away from your hips that you can. Use your abdominals to tug your heels in. Push and tug. Push and tug. Abdominals tug in. Shoulders are square. Tug in. 
push and tug. Let's see what she got, push and tug. Gorgeous, Tara, ha! Here I come with my uppercut right to your belly button. Ha! Ha! Push down, use your biceps, your triceps, all the shoulder strength that we've used up until this point. Tara, your triceps look freaking awesome. Six, five. It's beautiful, Janet, I love your neck. Your neck looks great, four, three, two, Hang out here and hold. You're going to alternate right and left, right and left. Alternate right foot and left foot. Little tiny chug. Ha, ha, ha. Nancy, it looks gorgeous. You've got four. Go three, go two. Hang out and hold right there. Externally rotate your feet. Maintain the forward fold. Empty your breath. Push and lift. Push and lift. Push, lift. All of these kind of gears have to work together in order for me to levitate my foot. I'm externally rotated to stay out of my hip flexors. So I'm gonna walk a little bit faster. Left foot and right. Left, right. I've gotta settle my heel down so I can push. Again, there's that abdominal connection. You're contracting. Ha, contracting, yes. Not about height, about engagement. This is a new map, this is a disaffinity. <sighs> our bodies aren't trained to do this. We have to, we have to kind of forget <laughs> what happens pedestrian wise. Ha. All right, hang out and hold. I'm gonna push through, try to lift both feet. Oh my goodness, seven, six, five. Four, maybe the action is just there. Maybe they're not lifting. It's okay, there are no rules. Two, hang out, hold, push down to gather your heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your legs out, hold forward. How do you do with that one? And I did so great, I wanna do those again. Okay, we will. Grow your waist, soften your knees, get out of your lower back, by fold it. We're going into low speed a thoracic curl of your spine. Inch from your pelvis forward, lower yourself all the way down, slide your heels in, find your left hand to your left thigh, your right hand to your right thigh, shimmy your shoulders. No, I'm not gonna stop. Yes, I'm gonna keep moving. Stretch your lumbar spine, stretch, and then curl. Utilizing your side body, your flank, your waist, <sighs> curl. We'll take a little reset all together and then we'll kind of kind of map in between a couple of things. Two. Oof. Hang it out at the top. Make a fist with your left finger, pinky finger, into the base of your skull. Right pinky finger in the base of your skull. Energize your elbows narrow, shoulders shrug away from your ears and curl. Seven. How does this feel on your neck? Six. You have my dollar, your dollar each. The smallest honey crystals you ever see. But they're amazing. Five, they taste so good. Four. Okay, three. Hold. Find the height, honey crystal, in between your chin and your chest. Find your left thigh, your right thigh. Trim your shoulders up a little bit more. We're going to reach to the left. Up and over left. Up and over left. Left. Ha. <sighs> Ha. Ha. Four, three, two. Hang out on your left. Reach your left hand down. Reach your right arm over the top of it. Square your shoulders to the diagonal and reach. Reach. Hips are square, knees up towards the sky. Six. Oh my goodness. Five. Push to reach. We map the push. Four. Three, oblique, twist and spiral, two. Neck is gonna get a reset, little tiny reaches the tempo. Go eight, seven, six, it's right there. Grab it, grab it, four, three, two, hold. Fist with your left hand behind your occipital lobe, right hand behind your occipital lobe. We energize your elbow points narrow, eight in the center here, eight, seven. Let your head be heavy into your fingers, six, five, honey crisp apple in between your chin and your chest, four. Three, 
Two. Left hand to left thigh, right hand to right thigh. Send me over to your right. Send me over right. Right. I'm thinking about my left shoulder slicing across my mid back, mapping it with hands on thighs. Meg, I love that hand there. You've got eight more. Shimmy right. Seven. Rib basket stays intact. You're spiraling. Five. Yes, that's it, Kara. Four. Three. Nice nap. Two. Hang out and hold. Reach your right finger pads down. Reach your left hand over to meet your right and reach. Look at my shoulders. They're reaching together. Basket is together. Reach. Yes, Nance. Reach. Breath in, breath out. Four. Three. Claw your surface. All right, we're going to go faster. Here we go. Reach, reach. It's eight. Six. Come on, reach, reach. Hold. Hold. Weave your fist back behind your occipital lobes. Energize your elbow points and arrow up and down. Reach that eight. Go. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Five. Thoracic curl. Breath in, breath out. Oh, we're going to stick the landing. Two. Hang out and hold. Reach your left hand past your left thigh. Right hand past your right. And reach. Reach. Up, stop. Up, hold. Magnetize your inner thighs together. Eight, seven, six. You need a hand behind your head. You take it. Four, three, two. Hang out and hold. Extend your left leg up. Pilates rooftop. Right leg up. Pilates rooftop. Reach your left hand down to your mat. Right hand down to your mat. Slow your shoulders up. Honey crisp apple in between your chin and your chest. Lower your legs down to two. Gather up for two. Seven more. Yes, you can. Gather up. Magnetize your inner thighs together. Press down. You felt the press down in your flat back, yeah? Or your rounded spine. Abdominals in. You got four more. KK, I love it. Kara, can you peel up your shoulders just a little bit more? Hold that dollar honey for apple. It's so good. It's going to taste so good. Last two. Hang out on the bottom. Hold. Push down into the surface of your hands. Peel your head, neck, and shoulders up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh my goodness. Gather your knees in. Swirl your thighs in one direction. Swirl them the other. You can make a figure eight. Loosen through. You're amazing. Pelvic girl. Cross out your ankles. You can roll yourself up. I know I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to roll over my side. Like my hips up. Walk your feet and your hands together. Nice, slow roll-up, sequential roll-up, one vertebra at a time. Let's go back to our bar, back to our chair, back to wherever you're going for standing parallel. A couple of soft breaths here. Soft arms distance. Get out of your shoulders. It's the left week, so we're going to do that left foot first. My toes are energized towards the baseboard. I'm going to peel my left foot up and set my left foot straight behind. I'm going to give myself some feedback by integrating my heel of hand into my left hip. Now I'm going to test my front and make sure that I hit square to my bar. Push through the left heel of my hand. I'm a mix gripper. I'm going to underhand grip my right. Peel my left foot off my mat and start to press my left side back, back, back. It's back, back, back. Your hips are headlights. You're lifting your left hip up and pressing back, back. Suction cup the inner arch of your foot. Red wide, your right toe back, stop, back, stop. I love what I'm seeing. I love this loose foot. Marianne, take a soft shrug of your shoulder. Ah, uh, yes, girl. Yes. Did you know it? Yeah, they're like creeping up. Mine too. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Grab your heel and tuck it in. In. Now I'm more successful with a nice flex ankle, flex foot. You play with it here. Your hip points are square though. Keep integrating forward. I almost have to lift my left hip up. It's in. In. Kicking your own butt here. In. In. Yeah. In. In. Listen up. Four. We're going to change it and press your thigh bone back. Keep it curl. Back. Back. As much as you can. This muscle is called a bicep. It's a bicep from work. You're folding it up and kicking it back. Nancy, gorgeous. Integrate your hip forward. Spiral your inner thigh. Now we're going to combine and compound. Kick it in. 
in and send it back and back. Kick it in, in, send it back. How is your right knee, how's your right foot inner arch specifically? In, in, back. Hips are square. It's in, in, back, back. Oh my goodness, in, in, back. Nance, how's it doing? Mine's on fire. Back and back. Are you ready for singles? Let's go. Kick it in. Send it back. It's in. And back. Oh my goodness. Seven. Six. Push. Wrap it. Push it. Wrap it up. Push it back. Wrap it up. Push it back. Two. Hang out there. Devlape. Extend your leg out to the side. Maybe you need to give yourself some tentative feedback by rolling your hip or integrating it forward. Lift on the diagonal with a pointed toe. Lift. Lift. Hips are square. Lift. Go to tempo. It's lift. 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 Soft right knee integrated right inner arch. Lift. Stop. Lift. Hold. You got four. Almost out. Three. Ronde de jambe en l'air or circles in the air. Let's go up, back, and around. Up, back, and around. Seven. Add some acceleration, deceleration. Maybe it's a little bit more dynamic with a sweep. You've got four. Stretch coming after a hold in three. Ah, slice it, two. Christine, ears back, hold. Soften through your right knee. Lift your left leg up, send it back behind you, hang out and hold. Eight, seven, six, yeah, KK, higher. Four, three, two, and one. Use your chair, use your bottom. Cross your left ankle over your right femur. And we're gonna sit back. Wow. And I'm a little bit more successful when I flex my ankle. I have a little more access to my outer edge. Come on up, let's stretch the other side. Cross your right ankle over your left femur. Sit back, floating pigeon. Ooh. I was like, definitely buy one, get one free. Right, Nancy? Nancy does two classes with me on Monday. I, I don't like myself right now. I'm pretty sure you don't like me dance right now. <laughs> All right, let's get back in. Soft arm distance away, parallel alignment. Have some pliableness here to your knees. Some undulation of your spine, and then find out where you need to be. Uh, take a big breath in. Peel your right toe up, literally straight behind you. Take your right hand, integrate your hip forward. <sighs> Your hip points are square. I'm a mixed gripper. Heel of my right hand, underhand grip my left so I can create some tension. Heel your right foot up, start to send it back. Now I just noticed my shoulders are kind of creeping up. Marianne, me too, girl. So maybe I have to spread my grip a little bit wider so I can use the space of the width. Back, back. Straight back, integrated inner thigh. Magnetize your inner thigh. Back, 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 yes. Are you feeling it anywhere else? Assess yourself. Take a little scan from the bottom up and from the top down. It's eight. It's seven. It's six. Soften through your left knee, left inner arch. Four. Oh, yeah. Three. All right, hamstring, I'm coming at you. We're coming for you, hammy. Flex through your heel and drag it in. In. So I'll notice that my toe wants to really turn out. I have to think about my toenails going straight down to the floor. It's in, in, in. Hip is integrated, hip is high. Oof. Headlights, headlights. It's in, stop, in, hold, in, stop. It's spring loaded. Thank you, hamstring. Hold it in and stamp it. Back, back. Play with it. Maybe you're more successful with a point, a floint, anywhere in between. Yes, magnetize your inner thighs together. Your true parallel, leg is parallel, railroad track, right out. Oh my goodness, four, three, two counts, two counts, integrate them, kick it in, 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 back, back. Kick it in, stop, in, stop, back, stop, back, stop, it's in, in, back, back, in, stop, in, stop. Minimize the rebound, you've got four. Hey, hey, go three. In, stop, back, stop, back, stop. Fold it up, stop, fold it up, stop. Push it back, stop, back, stop. Last one. 
alternate in and back. Take your stuff, stamp it, kick, stamp, oh my goodness. Give yourself some feedback. Maybe you feel like you're opening up. Magnetize your inner thighs together. In, stop, back, stop. In, stop, back, stop. Go eight. Soft shrug of your shoulders. Neutral spine. Optimal spine. Four. Three. All right, long lever coming in two. Hold, double the Extend your leg long. Reintegrate your right hip. Square your shoulders. Soften your left knee. Little tiny lifts on the diagonal. Go. That's it. Okay. Can you reintegrate your right hip? Spiral your kneecap. Point your toe furiously. Soft left knee, integrated left inner arc. Hey, hey, you got eight. Christine, I love it. Six, four, three. Ron de Jam on their circles. Up, back and around. Up, back and around. Here is your opportunity to play with it. Maybe you're staying smooth, or maybe you're adding an acceleration, deceleration. That's where I get the most. Hey, ha, ha, play with it. Accelerate, decelerate. Who's in control? You're in control. Four, tap your shoulders. Next, three, yes girl. Last two, hang out and hold. Soften your left knee. Lift with your inner thigh. Sweep your right leg behind you. Hold it up. Shoulders back. Can you lift just a little bit more? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ah. Shake it out. Overhand grip, whatever you're using. Walk your feet back to find your figure seven. Your toes are tucked a little bit in front of your hips. I love to walk my hands a little wider on my surface. Push down so my truck is easy as my lift fits in it. Engage and let me help to release my gluteals, my outer edges. We're gonna go into a little IT release here. Start to bend your left knee two counts. Bend your left knee for two. Up and over. Bend your right knee for two. Up and over. Find the space in between. Left. Ha. Right. Ha. Bend left and left. Okay. Bend right and right and hold. Empty your breath. Sweep your right hand to the outside of your left pinky toe. Spiral using your surface. Fast your feet back. This is such a great release, not only for your IT, but your lower back. Bend through both knees. Both hands up. Slice your left hand. Lengthen your right leg. Stack your hips back. Spiral your rib back. I'm pushing down through my bar with my right hand. Oof. Bend through both knees. Come back in through the center. Undulate through your spine. Use your bar to bring yourself down. One knee. Other knee. Find your favorite hips. Sweep your feet forward. Back dancing. Here I come. Slide yourself down. Gather your heels in. Extend your arms up towards the sky. Pull your pelvis up. Find some length through your shoulders. As you lower your pelvis, extend your biceps by your ears and then squeeze back up. Extend back. We're still using our verticality. We're just finding our standing parallel. Tap and squeeze. Use your abdominals to narrow the front, widen the back. You are super articulate, not only in your vocabulary, but your movement vocabulary. Are you ready? Let's go, let's go. Let's tap. Okay. Now that we've increased the tempo or the speed, my range is decreased, and that's okay, because I'm working in my zone. You're working in your zone. Hey, ha, hey, ha. You got eight, seven, six. Magnetize your inner thighs together even here. This is your big boy, Rudeus Maximus. Right smack dab in the middle, the smile of your feet. Hold your tuck, release your arms down by your hips and tuck. I love giving myself some feedback, so I'm going to take the heels in my hands right to the crease of my hips. Shimmy your shoulders wide. Neck is loose. Hey, hey, listen up. Four, three, left side repeater. Go. It's left, 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 left. Shimmy your shoulders. Four, three, to your right, please. Right side, right repeater. Right, 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 right. Four. You know where we're going. Alternate. Let's go. Right, left, left, and right. 
your last chance is coming to squeeze your own seat. Shimmer your shoulders, face to yourself, side and side. You tuck and tuck and tuck and tuck. Hey, hey, back in the center, tuck it out. Go, 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 eight, seven, six, five. Hey, 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 Andy Grammer, thank you. Three, last two, I found you, boots. Hang out here and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down one vertebra at a time. And when you're ready, bring your knees into your chest. Take a couple of deep, powerful breaths here to cleanse anything you might need in your jaw, your face, your backside body. We're gonna take our stretches here on our backs. Be nice and supportive and nice and vertical. Keep a hold of your left knee. I love to interlace and grab the top of it. If you've got any joint issues, you can always come underneath the joint. <sighs> Gather your right leg or your right knee up. And feel your opposite ends of your sacral base. So I'm kind of feeling my tail and feeling the top. And I'm also feeling east, west, side and side. As you exhale, keeping a hold of your leg, send your left thigh away from you and try to curl up your rib basket. Now take a deep breath in, narrow your hip points, retract your belly button, and try to send your leg a little bit further away. This is an awesome release for a muscle called your piriformis. I'm really pressing my knee into my hands. I'm also tugging back my pelvis into my mouth and then empty out. We'll use the floor to cross left ankle over right thigh, taking a floating pigeon. I love kind of cupping my foot, handling my knee to make sure that I'm nice and respectful to it. Again, I'm sure I said this like six times. I'm super successful. When I flex my ankle, I can get a little bit more access to the outer edge. You be, might be more if you're pointy, Stay with it. See what happens. Extend your arms out to a T. Keep the cross and roll over to your right side. So your left knee is kind of up towards the sky. Revolve your shoulders and allow your left knee to kind of dip away from you. You're getting this great stretch now here through your hip flexor. My left foot is down. <sighs> Spiral of your ribs caused by this asymmetry in your lower girdle. Bend your left knee in towards you, gather everything back in and release your bind. Grab a hold of your right, again, above your joint, below your joint, depending on what your joint is telling you. Your left knee is now up towards the sky. Really grabbing a hold of it. Take a big breath in, empty it out, and try to push your leg away while you're holding onto it. Spread your pelvis, posterior superior iliac spine wide as you narrow your belly button. These are your deep, deep abdominals. Like I'm legit shaking. <sighs> Here, Nance, versus sending your leg kind of away and then counterbalancing. <sighs> Empty it out, gather it in. Feel that nice crease. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. <sighs> floating pigeon, and I'm mindful and respectful of my knee, the bottom of my foot, I'm trying to access the outer edge. I feel in the rotation of the femur in your socket. So everybody's different. Play with where your rotation happens. Play with what you need of your ankle joint. And when you're ready, extend your arms out to a T. Allow your knees to fall across your body. I'm gonna plant my right foot and allow my right knee to kind of open up. I get this great release right here. Hip flexor, iliopsoas. My femur, my quad is also like, that feels great. Breathe your shoulder blades wide, your jaw nice and loose. Fold your right knee in towards your center line. Use that fold to gather your legs back in. 
wrap your hands around your thighs. One more bind here. I love grabbing a hold of my wrist. Tighten every muscle, maybe even your face. And then extend everything out in a nice big X corpse pose. I try not to think about where my body lands, especially my hands, my palms. This cool thing about movement assessment and being in your body. And if your body is ready to receive information, your palms have opened up towards the sky. Your breath is the most interesting thing right now. You're receiving so much energy from where your body is in space and the space that surrounds your body. Let it all come in. If you landed with your palms down, that's a sign that your body needs to hold on to the energy that it has currently. It's more of a protection mode. Our bodies are so smart. They tell us before that fight or flight, that uneasiness that you may feel in a time of uncomfortableness, go with it. All of this stuff that we've practiced today, stuff I say movement, getting in your body, small movements, big movements, it teaches us to assess and be. I use it all the time. I'm such a people watcher. I'm like, uh-oh. I feel it coming. Sometimes you feel it coming before it comes. That's this right here. Use it to reset. Use it to be. Use it to thrive. Use it to rest. When you're ready, wiggle your fingertips, wiggle your toes. Fold your body into a fetal side, whatever side that your body is leaning towards is right. There are no wrong. Use your hands and your legs to bring yourself into a nice glorious seated position. Cross at your ankles. Bring your thumbs into your heart center. Hip hinge slightly forward. Bow your chin just slightly. Breathe. Take one final assessment of where you are in comparison to where we started this morning. The light in me honors the light and the love in all of you. Namaste. Happy Labor Day. Thanks to the laborers. Thanks to the labor movement. Thanks to protecting people who put themselves out there. You guys are amazing.